people not from Portland? How many of you guys have a, a local user group for Postgres in your town? How, <laughs> how many you wish there were? But, oh, all right. So well, uh, just to talk about the Portland group here, um, in case you were wondering what the PDX pug stood for. Uh, Gabrielle and I try to uh, run the show most of the time. It's a ASCII elephant. So, what is? This? <laughs> oh, hey, when, when I started SF Hub, yeah, I had a couple people show up at the first meeting thinking with dogs. <laughs> we had we had people email first, right? Yes. We we had people email yeah. first, but did anyone not know what a pug looked like? <laughs> All right. So then we we have another one. Anyone puppet users? So, so uh, that puppet puppet user group's also here, and then um, well, then there's us in Portland Postgres. The elephants. Those elephants. Who made those? Oh, yeah, I did. These, these oh, are quite nice. Yeah, and these are quite valuable. These are going for as much as five hundred bucks. Oh, no, like what did the last one go for? A thousand? Yeah, thousand? In New York, yeah. Yeah. By yeah. hand. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, it's made. It's it's yeah, it's an yeah, authentic crochet. crochet. Do you have a pattern online or anything? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a Lion brand or Martha Stewart pattern. It, it'll be easy to find. Okay. I, I think if you Google for a crochet elephant, it, it'll free pattern crochet elephant. It, it should be easy to find. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll do. After we I'll do a. <laughs> we'll do a, a crochet presentation. Uh, <laughs> so. Um, so if you, if you want to know what kind of topics that usually show up in our, in our little uh, user group, um, Gabrielle made this little word cloud for us, so uh, uh, I'll leave this up for just a couple seconds. Relational algebra cocktail party. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so please note the font size. We have had more than one. <laughs> uh, some contact details. Well, you know, uh, uh, how many are in Portland that don't know? Uh, so we have a website, uh, we have a Twitter thing, we have a mailing list. We uh, meet every third Thursday of the month for most of the year. We usually skip December and uh, um, July. Uh, right now, uh, iOvation is hosting us in the U.S. Bank Tower downtown. Great view, 37th floor. And if you want to see more uh, elephant pictures of the crochet elephant, there's a Tumblr. And, and everybody who got an elephant, you should take it somewhere and take a picture yes. of the elephant. Yeah, and send it to us and we'll put it up on the top. Dollar traffic, that's right. Thank you. Oh, hey, can I plug the scalper, too? Yes, yes. yes. but you have to come down to the podium if you're going to plug the scalper. We're Sleep Hug, uh, no dogs, though. Uh, <laughs> first Tuesdays in runmeetup.com. And uh, Lloyd Elvin is our uh, leader. We meet at the Hutch, you know, in Seattle, then. I want to talk to you about Lisa after the meeting. Okay. Are you all on Twitter? No. I just need a Twitter. Oh. Okay. Maybe I'll have a name. Oh, right. And so oh, let's, let's see if we do I actually have a clicker in this. Oh, hey, one more. Does it work? Yeah. Uh, we do, the last three years, we have been at the Linux Fest.
Fest in Bellingham, oh, uh, which is like a couple thousand people, I think, should go for that. Uh, so we do lectures all day long, actually two days, all weekend long, um, up in Bellingham, and it's free. So if anybody wants to attend or help uh, do presentations, let us know. Uh, it's April, April-ish. And the last weekend, weekend in April, usually. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. be there next year, yeah. for sure. Yeah, Bellingham Morning Fest. Okay, don't leave before I talk to you, though. Morning Fest Northwest. Yes. Uh, okay. Was it yep. Okay. We're ready for this. Hit it. Okay. I need my time. Begat. Begat. Or otherwise known as the mother of all databases. <laughs> <laughs> this works better by a mic. <laughs> no, that doesn't have. We don't have the speaker on. <laughs> In the beginning, all was null and void, and there was darkness on the face of the waters. In fact. We didn't even know if null was equal to anything or not. And then came EF Cod, and there was light. And this was the first day, and it was good. And then came Michael Stonebreaker, and Michael Stonebreaker misappropriated a DARPA grant and created Ingress. And this was the first generation, and it was good. And then Michael Stonebreaker misappropriated another DARPA grant and created Postgres. And this was the second generation, and it was good. And then Michael Stonebreaker went on to beget a whole bunch of other databases, uh, including Coherent, Streambase, and Vertica, and VoltDB, and SciDB, and who knows what this week. But we don't really care about those except that they seem to all have a little Postgres inside them. But Postgres begat Illustra. And Illustra was eaten by Informix, and Informix was eaten by IBM, and that was the end of the line of Illustra. <laughs> and that was the third generation. So Postgres begat MSQL, and MSQL begat MySQL. And at the same time, Postgres begat Postgres 95, which begat Postgres QL. And that was the fourth generation. And then Postgres QL70-71, which was extremely fecund, begat lots of things, including Great Bridge and NewSphere and PowerGress and Red Hat Database and Command Prompt Mammoth, Mammoth SQL? What was it, what was it called? Mammoth, Mammoth, Post, Mammoth Postgres? I don't remember what it was called. Mammoth DB, something. Um, any, anybody here remember Great Bridge? No. And that was the fifth generation, um, who died out in the, in the Great Flood. And then PostgreSQL begat Pervasive SQL and Enterprise DB, who battled it out um, as commercial databases, um, Enterprise DB being the survivor there. Um, and PostgreSQL went on to beget cluster databases, including PG Cluster and PG Cluster 2, and Postgres XC and Storm Debris, and, and po PostgreSQL begat Postgres XC, which begat Storm DB, which begat Postgres XL. Okay. And PostgreSQL also begat Telegraph CQ for streaming databases, which begat TrueVisa. And, it, and for distributed databases, it begat Postgres R, which begat Translatus. And PostgreSQL on the data warehousing front begat Matiza and Bizgres, which begat Greenplum, and it begat AstroDB, and it begat Paracel, which begat Amazon Redshift. And PostgreSQL then, casting its eyes further afield, uh, met up with Hadoop, and they begat Hadoop DB, which begat Hadapt. And it met up with Yahoo to begat Everest. And it met up with um, uh, Google's thing. Uh, to beget Citus data. So, PostgreSQL is truly the mother of all databases. I really need a poster of this. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Oh, good. Excellent. Jeopardy. Okay, no slides. Just turn.
two rounds. Oh, okay. Well, if there's no slides, I might as well just leave this up. Yeah. yeah. Two rounds of Jeopardy. First question. Well, I give you the answer. You give me the question. The answer is trailing underscore. This is in the category of Postgres, actually, and SQL databases. Oh. Question is, yes? Uh, so the question is, how do you make sure not to provide the naming conventions? Uh, you're supposed to say, what is? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I, I think they're pretty straight. If you don't say what is, you're out the door. But yes, you win. The answer is, if you look in the SQL spec, there is a line. If you search for the word underscore, you will find a sentence that says, this spec and its future revisions have the intention to never use a trailing underscore as a keyword or reserve word. And I found that somewhere in some little corner. It's like, oh my god, that solves the whole problem of you know, accidentally running into a naming collision between one of your fields, columns, or table names with a SQL word. No, or not only that, your code maintainers will hate you forever. <laughs> uh, actually, I have found there's a side effect. I actually like it in the code because when I see a trailing underscore, I know it's in the SQL, as opposed to my variable names, comments, and my email. Whenever I see the underscore, I've actually found it really useful as a side effect. Yeah. And second, and you guess just a thought, because a text on the databases, you've got file, class, kingdom, etc. Yeah. Order requires an underscore. I've used an underscore, thank you for telling me why. Oh, really? Oh, okay, okay. Second answer is over 1,000. Question? Number of people, what is the number of people attending Boss Virginia next week? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Actually, it might be correct, but in this context, no. What is the number of reserved word and keywords in all the database systems that you might accidentally use? Over a thousand hmm. across all the databases uh, in the standard and uh, proprietary extensions. And I've actually verified it myself because I didn't believe it. So if you look on, on Stack Overflow, there's some links. People have collected uh, actually databases of the words that are used in databases and page, uh, page listings. So it's over a thousand. So if you think, oh, I'll never use a key word, you know, uh, you know, I know how to use date, right? There's all kinds of words you would never expect are actually reserved. Mm. That's your little uh, presentation of mine. Very I just thought answer. of it today. You don't have more answers? <laughs> What's that? You don't have more answers? Uh, Postgres? Question is? Bingo! <laughs> Awesome. Ooh. Thanks. Oh, what happened to my... Yes. I'm just going to have to reopen it again, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, how do we do this? Do you... Sorry, new glasses, full screen right. mode. There we go. Uh, so Mark asked me to do the closing and I said sure and now I just realized he left his own name on the slide. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm Gabrielle, this is Mark, uh, we're the co-leaders of PDX Pub, we've hosted you uh, today. Mark did most of the work setting this up, I just kind of rode along here. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Um, again, we were hosted by the kind folks here at PSU, Data Lab, and the uh, Engineering College. I'd like to especially thank uh, William back there because he kind of brokered the whole room and helped us wade through the uh, what do we have to sign and set up and request to get the catering taken care of. Uh, catering, of course, which was provided by Second Quadrant, Iovation, and PG Experts. Is that really in alphabetical order? Because Second technically starts with an S. I mean, it would sort that way. But, you know, okay. Anyway. Uh, depends, on what, depends on what color issue we're using. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks to the presenters, uh, many of whom have already left today. Uh, David, Eric, Josh, uh, Kristen, Veronica, and the other Josh. Do have some upcoming events. Obviously, Phosphor G is next week. How many of you are here for that? Excellent. Well, you're kind of living here and going to the conference. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so how many of you heard about this through the Phosphor-G or DjangoCon marketing that we did? Okay, pretty good. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so Postgres conferences, we got one coming up in two weeks in Chicago. It's not too late to go to that. Um, that's going to be a ton of fun. 
Uh, Ecuador. Wow, I didn't know about that one. Oh, TG de Cubano in Madrid. Oh, typo. That is a typo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you yeah, turned twice there. Sorry. Okay. Oh, yeah. So um, I didn't know about the Cuban one. Um, I'm sure the date's right, but the location is wrong. Do you know anything about the Cuban? Are you still able to fly to Cuba from my States? Yeah. No, you can't. Well, I mean, you, you got can to if you have all kinds of special visa stuff. Mm -hmm. But if you if you don't already have that, it's too late to get. You go you go to Mexico and you fly yeah, there and Mexico. ask them not to stamp your passport, basically. Yeah. 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 Uh, not that I know. I know. Um, yeah, if you <laughs> planning to go to Cuba for the postal conference, please let me know because the Cubans really want me to send them like swag and other things, and and I have no other way to get to. Uh, all right. So after after Cuba, then we'll be visiting Madrid, which is going to be great, and then Italy. So if any of you have uh, lots of frequent flyer miles to use. Um, all right, thank you very much for coming. That's our special PSU logo. Hey, do you want to go to Rom-Toms? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I just want to see how, how long we think we can throw it out. Oh, man. They would never throw us out. They'd just ignore I us. Love